Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis. Today I'm going to present my idea for how to practice the skill of swinging up on your surf. And recently there was a video presented here on YouTube on how to develop this skill and there's been a lot of interesting responses and some controversy regarding how you actually practice the skill of swinging up on your serve to optimize your serve performance. And I'm going to clarify that for you here today. We all know that hitting up on your serve is essential to achieving the proper extension and uh, the power and, and really the performance of your serve. So how do we practice the skill of swinging up? Well, for me, I like to practice a lot of the components of the serve and have my students practice the components of the serve without the ball. And I like to think of the serve as a truly a choreographed movement, much like a dance routine. And if you think about it, if a dancer who doesn't know their choreography tries to apply that choreography to music, it usually doesn't work out so well. And the serve is the same way. If you're trying to learn the technical skills of your serve and you put the ball in play, usually this becomes a distraction rather than a helpful piece. So I like to get rid of the ball and then work on the pieces so without the ball, so I can really zero in on developing the muscle memory and the movement that makes the most sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my serve as I normally do my routine, and I'm gonna go into my serve, and the first ingredient really necessary to hitting up is getting into a trophy position where you have a 45 degree angle in your shoulders, your chest is open, and it's easy for you to look up. And you, and you can see that I was able to comfortably hold that balance for you know five or six seconds. Even though when I serve, I'm not gonna stay there, it's essential that I understand how to get into that balance and maintain control there. From there, I can practice the skill and isolate the swing itself up to contact. And again, I'm gonna introduce the idea that I'm gonna maintain balance and control of my body throughout that movement from the trophy position to contact and still be able to hold my balance at contact. So this time I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna pass through the trophy position and swing up and hold my balance. I can even go up on my toes a little bit and hold my balance as well. And that's a great skill to practice because if I can, if I can make my move from the trophy position to the contact, and hold my balance, and even get up on my toes and hold that balance, then I know I'm in total control at that point. And that's the critical piece, isn't it, right there? Where I make contact. So I have to have total control of my movement into and through contact in order to get the ball to do what I want it to do. And I get to isolate the skill of swinging straight up to contact. So you know, the video that was out there actually had something completely different where the left hand stayed up and so forth, but really the key ingredient is, is the reversal of your shoulders. So in order to swing up, I have to get an angle, and then I'm going to reverse that angle and come up and get my shoulder over shoulder action. Now I'm up, and now I'm swinging up. If my shoulders were parallel right now, I would not have any feel or sensation of the idea of swinging up. I would probably feel more like I'm swinging out, but not up. So the key piece really is to establish that angle in a trophy position and then reverse those shoulders and elevate. Okay. Now, to make this interesting, I'm going to have a little contest. And what I want to do is I want you to reply below. And the first person who gets this answer correct will get my Sir Foundation package absolutely free. And what, you, what I want you to try to tell me is what is the catalyst and really the key element that takes you from the trophy to the contact. What really makes that movement happen? What is the manager of that movement? What do you really want to focus on to get that to happen the right way? And the first person who gets that right is going to get a, my, my Sir Foundation package completely free. Uh, it is highly acclaimed by many uh, tennis players, uh, tennis pros, and analysts. Uh, you can, you can get, there's a link here for you to take a look at it so you can look at the page and see what it's all about. And if you're looking to improve your serve and get your, your serve really dialed in, this may be just for you. So take a look, but also give me your answer below. And the first person who gives me the answer below, I promise will get my Serve Foundation package absolutely free. And there are also some other videos here on YouTube about ball placement 
balance, other things that will help you with your serve. I encourage you to take a look at those as well. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And provide me with some feedback. I'd love to hear from you. And if I can help you with your game in any way, please let me know what you'd like me to, to work on or show you in video format. Stay tuned. I've got a lot of good things planned in the weeks and months ahead. Thanks for watching.